clouds, those ethereal white patches drifting effortlessly across the vast blue canvas of our sky. They are a constant source of fascination, inspiring awe and wonder in equal measure. But have you ever stopped to consider what clouds actually are? They are, in essence, visible masses of tiny water droplets or ice crystals suspended high above us in the atmosphere. These delicate formations, seemingly weightless, play a crucial role in our planet's climate and weather patterns. Clouds are not merely decorative elements in our sky, they are powerful indicators of atmospheric conditions. Their presence, absence and ever-changing forms tell a story. A story of temperature, pressure and moisture levels in the air. Understanding these formations gives us a glimpse into the intricate workings of our planet's atmosphere. The birth of a cloud is a captivating process, a delicate dance between water, air and temperature. It all begins with the sun's radiant energy warming the Earth's surface. This warmth, in turn, heats the air directly above, causing it to rise, carrying with it invisible water vapor, water in its gaseous state. As this warm, moisture-laden air ascends, it encounters cooler temperatures at higher altitudes. This cooling process is crucial, for cold air cannot hold as much moisture as warm air. As the rising air cools, the water vapor within it begins to condense. Condensation is simply the transformation of water vapor back into liquid water. This transformation requires the presence of tiny particles in the air, called condensation nuclei, which act as surfaces for the water vapor to cling to. These condensation nuclei can be anything from dust and pollen to salt crystals from the ocean. As more and more water vapor condenses around these microscopic particles, they grow in size, eventually becoming visible as tiny water droplets or ice crystals, depending on the temperature. These countless droplets or crystals, clumped together, form the clouds we see floating in the sky. The world of clouds is surprisingly diverse, a veritable menagerie of shapes, sizes and altitudes. Meteorologists, those who study weather patterns, have developed a classification system to categorize these celestial wonders. One of the most common types is the cumulus cloud, recognizable by its puffy, cotton-like appearance. Cumulus clouds typically indicate fair weather, but their taller cousins, the cumulonimbus, are associated with thunderstorms and heavy rain. Stratus clouds, on the other hand, are sheet-like and often cover the entire sky, creating a dull, overcast appearance. They are usually associated with light rain or drizzle. Cirrus clouds, found at much higher altitudes, are wispy and feathery, composed entirely of ice crystals. They often signal an approaching change in weather. These are just a few examples of the many cloud formations that grace our skies. Each type, with its unique characteristics, provides valuable clues about the state of the atmosphere, helping us to understand and predict weather patterns. While clouds often seem like distant ethereal entities, mist brings the magic of cloud formation closer to home. Mist, in essence, is simply a cloud that forms at ground level. It occurs when warm, moist air near the Earth's surface encounters cooler air, often due to contact with a cold surface like the ground or a body of water. The cooling of this near-surface air, much like the process that occurs at higher altitudes, causes the water vapor within it to condense into tiny water droplets. These droplets, suspended in the air, reduce visibility, creating the characteristic hazy appearance we associate with mist. While both mist and fog are formed by the same process of condensation, they are distinguished by their density and visibility. Fog is denser than mist, significantly reducing visibility, often to less than one kilometer. Mist, on the other hand, is less dense, typically allowing visibility of one to two kilometers. The world of clouds is full of surprises, harboring fascinating and lesser-known phenomena. One such marvel is the lenticular cloud, often mistaken for UFOs due to its smooth, lens-shaped appearance. These clouds form over hills or mountains, where the air is forced to rise and cool as it passes over the elevated terrain. Another intriguing phenomenon is the fall streak hole, a circular or elliptical gap that can appear in mid-level clouds. These curious holes are formed when the water droplets within the cloud suddenly freeze into ice crystals, which then fall out of the cloud layer, creating the void. And did you know that clouds can actually sing? Well, not literally, of course. But certain types of clouds, like alto cumulus clouds, can produce eerie humming sounds as wind passes through them. 
These sounds, known as cloud music, are caused by the vibrations of the air as it interacts with the water droplets or ice crystals within the cloud.